welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to install Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So Eclipse is an IDE or Integrated Development Environment and it works with a few different programming languages. In this video I'll be showing you how to install the Java IDE which is the most popular version of, of Eclipse that is used. So it basically helps Java developers to create programs with uh, Java. So it allows them to write programs and run the programs and things like that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your web browser of choice and type in Java JDK 11. I believe uh, JDK 11 is the latest version. And you're going to click on Java SE Development Kit 11. And I am going to click on Windows because that's the one I'm using. First I'm going to accept the license agreement. And now I'm going to download and it's going to download the uh, exe file. So the file has been downloaded. I'm going to click on it. And I know you can't see this, but it actually says, do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? And you're going to click yes. Once you've done that, it's going to say preparing to install. And it has a uh, installation wizard. So you're going to click on next. Next. So it's been successfully installed and you're going to click on close. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to type in Eclipse download. And you can see here Eclipse downloads. So click on that. And so as of right now, the latest version is Eclipse IDE 2018-9. I think that means Eclipse uh, IDE September 2018. So anyway, you're going to click on download 64-bit. And download. Now once it's finished downloading, I'm going to click on it. And here, here I have an error. It's going to say the required 64-bit Java 1.7 virtual machine could not be found. Sometimes you'll get this, sometimes you may not. Uh, but anyway, you have to find the basically the JDK that you installed um, in your system and tell Eclipse where to get the JDK from. What you want to do is you're going to click on Yes. So you're going to browse your system. And you're going to go to Windows C right here. And you're going to click on Program Files. And this only is for Windows. I'm not sure how to do it for Mac and Linux because I don't have a computer with either of those operating systems. But anyway, if you're on Windows, you go into Windows C, Program Files. And then scroll down and you'll see Java. Right here, Java. JDK 11.0.01. Click that folder. And you see there's a few folders here. Click on Bin and Java W. So just click on that once, click on open. Now it will continue the installation of Eclipse. So here we go, the Eclipse installer. After this, you're going to click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers. There's a few other options here, but I'm going to choose this one. And so it's going to install it into this particular folder. And I'm going to click on install. I'm going to click accept now. And now there's a few different licenses you have to accept. I'm just going to click on remember accepted licenses and click accept. So it's saying the installation process is taking longer than usual. You can just let it install, go do something else and it will install. Okay, so it's successfully installed and I'm going to click on launch. You can see here it says Eclipse uh, 2018-09. So now it's going to ask you to select a directory as workspace. And so you can uh, browse your system and find a place where you can keep your Eclipse projects and things like that. I'm just going to leave it like this and you can optionally choose to use this as a default and not have it ask again. Now you can click launch and it's going to open up the Eclipse IDE. So here we go. We have the Eclipse uh, workspace open. I'm going to make it full screen. And if you X out of this, now you have the place where you'll be doing most of your uh, programming. So you have down here. Um, you have problems, Java doc declaration, you have task list, package explorer, and here's where the actual code will go once you open up a uh, package. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually open a package and um, actually kind of get it into the Eclipse workspace. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.